Okay, so let's slow this game down a little. And 42. And hopefully that will solve any lag issues I have. Uh, or spec delay or whatever. Okay, so towards the left hand side of the map. I like the French way of cooking potatoes, is more accurate. I don't know if they were actually French potatoes, but... Mm. Other lag, lag, lag. And towards the left-hand side of the map we have ZXT with the Ligero as Aztec Pocket. The game as Viking flank up towards the top of the map and uh, VN Archlord down towards the bottom of the map playing as Mayans in green. He will be up against Nodes War No Die playing as Mayans. So Mayan War down towards the south. Pocket player will be Shaozul playing as Huns. So better pocket civilization for OCC and Celts for flushing up against the Viking player. Yes, the lag is not you, the lag is not me, the lag is either the Vrubly China Spectator server, the host, or the players themselves. I am not sure which one it is, to be completely honest. This not better be this better not be another restart. No, it's not. Okay, the game is going, finally. I have slowed the game down, so as you can see, suddenly we're getting two minutes extra to watch. So, as you can imagine, something going on here, and there's not much that I can do about it. Okay, so the game has started now. I've slowed it down, so we shouldn't have any lag issues. It should be able to catch up, uh, and there shouldn't be any pauses, hopefully. It does mean we might fall a bit behind, but given how long it's taken them to start every game, I don't think that's going to be a problem. And there is that three minute spec delay anyway, so as long as I come back and close my game before the game begins on the outside, we should be fine. So Drush for both the Mayan players, no doubt. There's definitely going to be a Drush coming in from Flushing, or well actually Flushing does like to tower. And we could see a Men at Arms into Tower Rush from him and into a Sling. As Jake says, or said yesterday, that's pretty much the only thing that he does every single game. And up against Vikings, the game this time not in such an ideal position, being in the flank position rather than the pocket position. Viking pocket is really strong, uh, Aztec pocket is not so great. I would be not surprised at all if we see him forward, actually, Ligero here forward. The other pocket, maybe? Um, or they say Team Wall easy, so actually we're gonna see a Team Wall from ZXT, but it's quite open at the front of the game space, so if he wants to wall... Wall against flushing also is... Oh wow, I have to slow it down even more? This is gonna be like snail paste, really. I am on Rubly China. Viking Pocket better than Aztec Pocket, please, Holmes, please. Okay, so game speed has gone to six minutes now. I just don't want it to be pausing every ten seconds. That's my biggest concern right now, so we're gonna slow it down even more. But I have a feeling that these players are just getting severe lag between the two teams, and that's why we're seeing this problem. Looks like it's going to pause again because we've just caught up. And... Please comment on sheep. What is there to comment about sheep? Flushing killed a sheep 10 miles from the TC. He's got 7 on sheep for some reason because, you know, he's cold, so he doesn't need that many on wood. And maybe he wants to make extra men at arms or he wants the extra food income for militia. I don't know why. Charles Zul has a very standard build. He's got the, uh, he's missing one on wood, so not so standard. He's going for the boar first rather than going forth to wood. And... No draw, no die. 
As the other flank is uh, doing a really standard build as well, 4 on wood, 6 on sheep. Uh, VN Archlord, standard, 6 on sheep, 4 on wood, sheep, normal sheep for light zero, I suppose. And uh, you don't like this map, you heard the game got an upgrade, did they beef up camels? Camel faster on Um War is Coming is a mod and it actually affects slinging the most. I believe slinging is one of the things, I know it definitely affects slinging. And what happens is you can't get coinage in Feudal Age anymore, you have to wait until Castle Age for coinage, only banking in Imperial Age. So that's how they've kind of prevented slinging using a mod, rather than setting rules about slinging, which was what a lot of people were arguing about. Well, it is past the 4 minute mark, so we are not going to see a restart. And I'm gonna speed it up a little. Since uh, we have got an extra five minutes to work with, thank god. But down go the houses for the Viking player up at the front, just beginning his wall off here for the game. Uh, that tower at the front for flushing is actually pretty nice, it covers his stone. It also gives him a bit of line of sight, not that he's going to get forwarded, so it doesn't really bother him. The tower for the game, on the other hand, is not so great. Flushing running past the TC just as the boar comes in. Pretty bad timing and unfortunate for him. He will be scouting out some of the walling that's going on for the ZXT team. Pushing in some deer for VN Archlord. That extra food income, really nice since he will probably be drushing. I have no doubt pretty much that he will be drushing. No door, no die with a nice forward tower here. He will be able to take wood quite safely, that gold quite safely thanks to that tower. And he's got a quite a nice wallable map, just the way it's shaped. He could have actually walled down towards here, walled off here to the cliff. Ooh, that's a lot of dead fake bodies and those wolves. Oh, it is Golden Hill, uh, by the way. Gold Rush, by the way, not Golden Hill. Gold Rush. And the gold pile positioning seems to favor ZXT, with it only really being close to no or no die on the OCC team and much further towards the left-hand side of the map than the right-hand side. Sheep slinging is best slinging. What colors on each team? We have ZXT on the left-hand side, so the game, Teal, Ligero, Red, and VN Archlord, Green for ZXT. On the right-hand side, OCC will be No Zwell No Die in orange. Yellow, Shaozhu, Pocket, and Blue, Flushing, as the other flank. Yeah, Wolf Rush OP! Best, best strategy. Now that full wall coming down for the game, and Flushing will be spotting this out immediately. He did want to probably drush, but it's not going to happen. And actually the game docking in that little lake that will give him a bit of extra food income. Very Black Forest-esque. And there are six shorefish in that lake, so definitely worth the dock there. Not worth it to dock here for Archlord, and it probably is worth docking this one though. That one has five shorefish, and it looks like we have somehow caught up once again to the recording, and we'll be waiting for some more. You're welcome. Sheep slinging is always good. Slinging of any and all kind kinds of any and all kinds of slinging basically OP in this game doesn't matter what you're slinging not the best uh, ball lure here for flushing who for some reason only has three villagers taking that ball questionable questionable move there by him and it looks like double palisading already in dark age for Ligero this is uh, going to set him back quite a lot and even unnecessary house walls not realizing perhaps that um, there are actually trees that extend to the edge of the map here. A bit unfortunate for him, but not the biggest deal. He will be fully walled and safe and sound. And I'm going to pause the game, slow it down rather. And he's just going to wall to the edge here. So double palisade with, what is that, three villagers walling at least. 
in Dark Age, that's going to slow his economy down quite significantly. He at least does have stone and gold inside of his walls. By the way, in terms of access to gold, apart from the middle of the map, it looks like each player has yes. one single four, yeah, four gold pile, gold mine, gold mine, gold pile, um, and one three gold pile, gold mine. I don't know how you can say that in a more eloquent or more clear way, kind of is one of those weird things, but basically access to 5,600 gold near their base, and other than that they're going to have to expand into the center of the map, take control of all of these gold piles in the center. It is gold rush, so... No. Okay, so Shaldul saying that he has already fully walled himself in, we're seeing flushing dock as well. Okay. He is docked the same lake as the game. Who is now gonna wall again. Behind this. I guess if he makes a single galley he can kill off all of these fishing ships. And that might be worth it. Goodbye, oomps. Yeah, a grush apparently is on the cards for these teams. I'm just wondering how slowly the game is going for them if uh, it keeps pausing for us. Must be pretty damn laggy, so... Props to them for sticking with it. Kind of reminds me of the... What was it? India A? India B? No, India B versus China C games in the Nations Cup. I think it was like in the qualifying rounds. And both teams had severe lag, and a one-hour in-game game took two hours in real time. After all, the lag drops, restores, lags in, you know, lagging in-game, random pauses. Age of Empires Online? Um, probably not. I'm only casting AOC because I like AOC, not, and I enjoy the game, and therefore enjoy casting the game, but I, it's doubtful whether I would ever cast Age of Empires Online. Servers got pulled in June. Okay. Well, that's always nice. Going to quickly go back to the game room, double check. Nope, everyone's in game, and I'm not dropping frames, and everything else is good, so it's just the uh, spec server and their laggy games. Maybe it's a pause, guys. Maybe it's a pause. I, I wouldn't know. It could very well be a pause, and someone's gone somewhere else again to take a smoke, or bathroom trip, or the door. I don't. I don't really know. I can only guess. Who knows what's going on. Half the time I'm guessing what they're thinking anyway. Okay... Having a quick look at the build orders, we have five on berries for Xiaozu, who does plan on stonewalling everything up. So he's also invested a lot of villager time into walling. If we look at the base of No Door No Die, has walled himself in completely nice and safe. It's a quite a small wall, but thanks to the single tower, it will be quite safe for a long time. I like Archlord's walls uh, probably a bit more. 
He just covers a lot more area here with his walls and he's got stone in the back, nice and safe to take as Mayans, very important. Both of his stone piles inside his walls actually, whereas if you look at Nodes 1, Node Die, he's actually not taking stone as Mayans and his stone is actually forming part of his wall as well, which makes it more difficult to take safely just in case. It is towards the back of his base, which is probably the only good thing for him. Lyjiro also fully walled in, double palisaded, as I was saying before. Finally, looks like uh, Vubli China spectator server decided to load once again and Flushing is heading back to his base with his uh, two villagers after wasting a little bit of time docking and he's actually going to start taking down the fishing ships with his scout and he's going to get out of there quickly. Now he's being chased down by the scouts of both Lijiro as well as the game. Bit of scouting going on by Archlord as well. I'm going to have a quick look at how much they've actually seen on the map. Finding all of that extra gold there. They're going to triple team up against Flushing, who has made that single galley to take down those fishing ships as expected. And it looks like, yep, no draw, no die. Market Blacksmith, Fast Castle, and it will be a sling from Xiaozu, the Hun player, actually. So... To the Mayan player, this is uh, an interesting strategy. No. Unslinging Mayans. Okay. He will be taking stone. Lijiro, on the other hand, uh, spent the stone walling himself in as Mayans dropping a market, getting ready to fast castle. Uh, looks like Shaozu will be feudal slinging him. And full stone walls coming up from him as well back at home. If we look at flushing, he's just uh, made two galleys in total. Does not want to invest any more than that. Stonewalling himself in at home as well. So, flushing stonewalling. Market going up as well. I don't know. Dub double stonewalls for the Chinese team. Stonewalls for the Mayan player, which is fairly standard. Well, the team bonus, the Mayan team bonus, a cheaper walls coming into play. I guess that does help. Archlord appears to be going... That was actually the Aztec player that's stonewalling. So Lijiro is going to sling. I don't see a blacksmith. So it's going to be a sling from both the pockets. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Not Mayans. So the Mayan player Archlord actually not going to wall up. So both teams are going to be slinging their Mayan player. It might be a double sling here from ZXT with the Viking player also stonewalling himself up here. The game and staying in feudal. Uh, I've played AOFE, uh, I don't know, the new sieves, it's interesting, I like it, but I don't like the new civilizations. Indians are very interesting though, they do get those imperial camels, which I like. Their unique unit is pretty much useless. You never, I mean, you rarely see elephants. And then you have cavalry archer elephants that can get converted easily. Okay, it's going again. Let's see, let's slow it down. Not to zero. Okay, 50 should be fine. Let's try this again. Um. Xiaozu says uh, the Viking player has stonewalled and they're actually scouting everyone else now. So they know everyone has stonewalled on the other team. Is this going to be a double sling from both teams? It's a double sling from both teams. What in the world? So everyone is slinging their Mayan player. But everyone is stonewalled. This is going to be fascinating. 
What in the hell? Okay, so no draw, no die is going for eagles. And we're going to see Archlord go for plumed archers. And... How is he going to break in? Okay. This will be an interesting game. Uh, to say the least. A double sling... And it's going to be eagles versus plumed archers. And we're going to see... Yes. Oh, looks like it was a pause. Okay. That's fine then. So, Archlord up to Imperial Age. She knows one no die a little closer than he is, thanks to... I don't know if it's yes. better sling or what it is. But he is closer. And looks like both players are actually going for the eagles. So little bit of a pause again. I did pause earlier, so... Yes. <laughs> you nominate this being the worst match of Wick. It's not my choice either. I, I said yesterday that I would cast this game. It was not this laggy in tournament lobby yesterday, but unfortunately we had a lot of drop issues. So in Rubly, China. I don't know if it's spec issues, if it's lag issues because they're playing on Rubly, China. I honestly just don't know. But yeah, I'm getting a little impatient as well. At least you guys can just like leave the stream and come back. I have to like sit here, try and talk about nothing to talk about, <laughs> and do something while staring at a screen that's paused. Sigh. Anyway, everyone continuing to sling. The game is still paused. My diet. <clears throat> okay, my diet is going well. It kind of uh, fell off a little during exams because I didn't have enough time to eat. Because eating is, you know, very difficult. Um, takes time and effort, you know? It's one of those things that you really have to commit to. Unfortunately, during exams, I just didn't have the time to commit to it. So I've fallen off a little. I've I've kind of digressed from Elite Ballerina back to Ballerina. It looks like No Dwar No Die is going for control of the uh, center gold piles, by the way, which is very important. I like that castle placement a lot more from him. Like Archlord as well will be going for that. He will be up to Imperial Age a little earlier than Archlord, and he does have Eagles out on the field already. <laughs> this looks ridiculous how slow they're moving. I'm going to speed it up a little. Um, <laughs> Castle going up in the middle. He is the first to reach Imperial Age now, and we'll be getting the upgrades, hopefully. Yeah, he's getting Elite Eagle upgrade now. He does not have any real other upgrades. And he is getting slung by two players. Let's see what is the plan for VN Archlord. About to hit Imperial Age now with a lot of resources in the bank. Oh god. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, he is getting the Elite Eagle upgrade as soon as he hits Imperial Age. He does have the castle up already. So potentially uh, going to get Garland Wars a little earlier. And it looks like everyone else is pretty chill for now. But very important to secure himself that the middle of the map there for no draw, no die. So really good move by him there. Plus two armor complete already. VNS uh, Archlord now spending all his resources. Getting the elite eagle upgrade. Getting conscription as well. Which is something that no draw, no die doesn't have yet. He's dropping an extra TC now in the middle of the map, continuing to make villages while also making eagle warriors, and I think that's his plan. Secure the map, and then they'll win because they'll have more gold in the long run. 
And then he can even counter-sling his teammates. This is a bad fight for Archlord. He's just getting outmassed by so much sheer. No Dawn, no Die being up to Imperial Age faster. He has way more Eagles. Less upgrades though, since uh, Archlord already has the plus 4 armor. So No Dawn, no Die has got to be careful until he gets that last armor upgrade. He's actually getting Forging first. So he's going to stick to the top of the hill. Make sure that uh, Archlord takes a bad fight there. Making his first treb already as well to get ready. And it looks like it's very even. No one really willing to commit to this. Uh, Lygero now telling uh, Archlord to get El Dorado. Can he afford it is the question. He can't. And it looks like uh, Archlord is going to go straight for flushing here. Flushing, of course, uh, looks like I heard something attacking. Oh, it's just one eagle. Flushing is just going to wall those villagers in. He's going to drop an extra tower as well. I don't know why he's dropping an extra tower for the line of sight. But now the eagle's coming into the TC from No Door No Die. And he's going to lose a treb as well. Those eagles going to pick off that treb. Really nice pick there from Archlord. More barracks going up for No Door No Die as well. And he's getting the last armor upgrade now. So he can fight. They're even on upgrades. No! El Dorado here, complete for VN Archlord. That's a better fight for him, but he still lost more just because No Dwar No Die has so many eagles out already. He does not have El Dorado, however, so that's a bit of a problem for him. He did get the Treb instead of getting El Dorado. He's got to consider getting El Dorado now. Still making a lot of villagers with that control of the gold. He has so many villagers taking the gold in the center of the map. Now I'm going to slow it down a little just in case. Because we're about to catch up again. And I'm paranoid that it's going to stop. So a lot of eagles out for No Dawn No Die. But without El Dorado. Is it worth it? He really does need El Dorado. And there we go. El Dorado being researched for him now. And I think he has more villagers as well. A quick look at 45, oh, 46. Okay, so Archlord having a few more villagers, but uh, Archlord not having as much gold. So that that can, castle in the center of the map could well change what the internet, uh, what this, how this game is going. Yes. Uh, is uh, my internet dropping frames? No, I'm not. Okay, so it's just lag. You can see how much uh, I've tried. <laughs> and you can see the delay in the lobby as well. When I type something, nothing happens for some time. And we're back! We're back. Let's go to normal speed. 50, okay. 50 should be acceptable. El Dorado, almost 50 cent percent complete now from No Dawn No Die, who does have two TCs and only the single TC from Archlord, who is now massing a very nice number of eagles, but he's waited a little too long and it looks like No Dawn No Die will have El Dorado complete in half a second and it's complete. He's gonna fight. He can fight as soon as it's complete. They're even on upgrades now. He can fight and Archlord does not want to fight this now. Wait, he's not controlling his army. Okay. We're running in now, big fight. And it's gonna be El Dorado Eagles versus El Dorado Eagles. Both e both armies out of the uh, line of fire of the castles. No. Vian Archlord now running in towards the castle. He does not have... No Dawn No Die does not have fletching, so the castles won't be that strong. But he does have a stronger economy, I think, just with the amount of villagers he has on gold. And Archlord just will not be able to keep up with him, I think, because he doesn't have access to nearly as much gold as No Dawn No Die, thanks to his control of the center early on. And as you can see, Archlord is running away already, and No Dawn No Die can now pick off this treb, so it's a treb each. And he probably wants to retreat now that his castle is safe, dropping even more barracks now as well. His his teammates flushing, also expanding to the center of the map with some villagers to take gold. And it looks like uh, No Dawn No Die taking a big fight and winning there. Yeah. Viper. Viper noob. Okay. So. Man, man. Okay, so they want to sell resources, so get uh, lower the price of the sell the sell price for food and wood, so that the other team doesn't have that option. That's what Flushing is saying, since they know that they have control of the center island, and that means all the gold is at the center of the map, rather. So all that gold is theirs, and the other team can't really access it. 
And in order to prevent the other team from getting a good sell price, they're going to sell their resources and lower the price. Which means No Dawn No Die will be in, in an even stronger position. He does need to get Blast Furnace. Okay, there we go. There's Blast Furnace. Another Treb coming up. And No Dawn No Die's castle is in a bit of trouble. He needs to go and fight this now before that castle goes down. That extra castle will secure him even more map control. He's about 20 population ahead of Archlord right now who is throwing down yet another castle as well. And it looks like the castle will go up, he needs to repair it, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's doing this really well. Two castles firing down on Archlord, and it looks like... Yeah, no one's got fletching yet, so... It's two castles to one, and no Dawn No Die should be able to win this. He's got a lot of barracks pumping, and Archlord once again retreating towards his castles. No Dawn No Die already picking off that treb somehow. I don't even know how he got that treb, but he got the treb down once again, and going to retreat back for a bit. Another trap is up, however, for Archlord, sticking right in between his two castles, and No Dawn No Die having no stone. This castle could be in trouble from him. He's gonna mass up some more eagles, but with so many villagers on gold, I mean, I think Archlord is really just gonna struggle soon. Alright, make it too fast again. I don't know. Let's have a quick look at army count. Archlord sitting on 52 eagles, and No Dawn No Die sitting on don't know because lag. Story of my life. What is Archlord's rate? Most of these players are 18 plus. And once again, waiting for the game to go. There we go. Game has started again. Okay, so two traps now out for Archlord, grabbing down that castle from No Dawn No Die, and he needs to start repairing it soon. Don't know why he's not. Let's have a look at eagle count. So No Dawn No Die does have a few more eagles. He does have Blast Furnace, and actually Archlord also having Blast Furnace now, so he is going to try and go back for that, but he doesn't have enough stone to repair it, and it looks like, uh, how is the other team looking for gold? Archlord still has that single gold pile. It looks like his teammates are almost out of gold back at home, which is very bad for him. And yeah, it looks like actually Lygiro down to his secondary gold pile now. No Dawn No Die. Just going to continue trying to repair that castle, but running out of stone pretty quickly. And actually building houses here for Archlord in front. Where's his army? Where are his eagles? Is that it? Where'd all his eagles go? Okay, he's got 80 eagles somewhere. Ah, they're in the castle. Yeah, so he's got 40 eagles garrisoned up in castles. That's why. I was about to ask, where did all those eagles go? No Dawn No Die has got 90, but he's about to lose his castle. And... Second, I thought I saw Jaguar Warriors, and then I realized I didn't, and I got confused. Anyway. Either way, even with that castle going down, it looks like flushing now up to Castle Age, something I missed. And it looks like uh, that's fine, which means extra TCs in the center of the map. And it looks like Yellow, Xiaozu, also transitioning into the center of the map. Looks like everyone else on ZXT will be staying in all oh, the, the Wolf Rush. The evil Wolf Rush. Two traps up for Nodes 1 No Die, starting to trap down the castle from VN Archlord as well. And Flushing saying villagers. Oh, he's oh villagers from the game trying to expand into the center of the map as well. So comes down to who can maintain control of all those gold piles. Looks like for now, No Dawn No Die does have this section of the map covered, but this section of the map not so sure about that. And actually, the game walling in the gold from Flushing to try and take for himself. Still fully walled back at home, so nice and safe. And it looks like even more lag right now for the other for the um, players in the game. Uh, all the players are basically walled, so it's kind of difficult. They could try and go for this area, but his army is just so close. I don't think Archlord wants to get caught there. If he loses army numbers and uh, no Dawn no die just has 
more eagles out than him. He can take down the trebs really quickly that he has back at home while still defending. I hope it's a pause. Uh, it's been a laggy game, to say the least. Trap's going down for no draw, no die. That's more gold. He can't afford it, but um, nonetheless, looks like the big fight is going on. More traps going down for no draw, no die. And it looks like the game being forced away from the center of the map. Biggest fight of the game finally happening. Everyone pumping eagles everywhere. No draw, no die. With all that extra gold banked, will that help him? Shaozhu still slinging him a lot, flushing slinging him a lot of gold now as well. And I think he's got this one in the bag. All of the eagles dead now from Archlord. They have no access to gold. That's it. Looks like ZXT not able to outlast them in this game. And just having that control there for OCC paying off. And not not even having, having to win in terms of micro. It's a pure strategy win here with all that extra gold that they've taken. I'm going to have a quick look at achievements later on. Trap's going down now for Archlord. He will not be able to take that castle down. He is starting to run low on resources, I believe. Yeah, he's almost on no gold, whereas if you look at No Dawn No Die earlier, he still had about three, 400 gold left. His castle's down. Um, Lygiro has already said, let's GB. We can't win this without control of the center. More barracks going up, but he's got no gold. He doesn't have any gold to mine. They can't really... Yeah, that's that's about it. The game was forced away earlier from some eagles, with some eagles from No Dawn No Die, and the stream has just ended. So I'm going to assume the host, which is Archlord, just quit there, and that's why the stream ended. So No Dawn No Die with 11,000 plus gold, much more than anyone else. Flushing with only 4,000, his gold was taken by Lygiro, or was it the game? Was the game, okay. So the game and Lygiro are 6,000 apiece, adding up to just a little more than No Dawn No Die on his own. <sighs> okay. Well played by OCC, strategy win once again. So we're up to 2v2 to 1 for OCC.